Welcome my dear students. Today we are going to solve all the question answers from the lesson The Adventure of Gulliver. This is the lesson from standard 5th subject English unit 2 lesson number 13. Okay. Let's start first with meaning. Voyage is a long journey by sea. Character, a person in a story. Imaginary, not real. Surgeon, a doctor who performs operation. Storm, Strong wind accompanied by rain. Maroon, to be left alone ashore. Strange, odd. Exhausted, tired. Strings, cords. Loaves, several pieces of bread. Gesture, express with hands and arms. Bravery, the ability to face danger. Cart, wheeled vehicle for carrying load. Convinced, developed. Developed a firm belief. Okay, let us see next. Answer the following question. How was Gulliver tied down on the seashore? Gulliver's arm and feet were held down to the ground with string. His long hair too was held in the same way. Thousands of strings has been passed across his body in such a way that he was unable to move any part of his body. What did the important looking man tell Gulliver? The important looking men, through his gesture, informed Gulliver that they will not harm him if he did as they told him. What was Gulliver's reply to what the important looking man told him? Gulliver replied with gesture that he will remain quiet and also added that he was hungry. How was Gulliver taken to the city? Gulliver was taken to the city in a great cart made by joining many cart. 900 men worked for 3 hours to put Gulliver onto cart which was drawn by 1500 of the king's finest horses. The journey took almost a few full day. When was Gulliver allowed to move around? Gulliver started living in a house provided to him. After some days, the king and his people were convinced that Gulliver would not harm them. So after he agreed to keep certain orders of the house, he was allowed to move around. Describe Gulliver's home in Lilliput. Gulliver's home in Lilliput was a church which remained unused for many years. It was the largest building in the whole country. The great door on the north was four feet high and two feet wide and so he could go into it by going down on his hand. Describe Gulliver's walk around the city. When Gulliver expressed his desire to see the city, the king willingly agreed. Orders were given to all the people to stay indoors. Gulliver then stepped along the two largest street. Curious onlooker at the window and those standing on the tops of the houses looked out at him. Gulliver also saw the king's house which was at the place where two great streets met. There was a beautiful garden on all the side of it. Lying down in the garden when he looked at the window, he saw so many beautiful rooms. In one room he saw the queen and some of the youngest princess who were greatly pleased by the visit. Okay, next. Who came out to meet Gulliver? The king came out to meet Gulliver. What was made ready for Gulliver to be used at his house? An old church which has not been used as a church for many years was made ready for Gulliver to be used as his house. What was done to ensure that Gulliver did not get away? To ensure that Gulliver did not get away, one of his feet was set in a great ring on the end of many strong strings. Do you think this is a real story or an imaginary one? Justify your answer. I think this is an imaginary story as half foot high men do not exist. There are several instances in the lesson which tells us that it is fictional though it may seem real and true to life. Give the antonyms of. Antonyms is opposite. Okay. Safe, unsafe. Convinced, unconvinced. Next is make sentence to get away. The thief tried to get away but the police chased and caught them. To move around. After reaching the hill station, I decided to move around and explore the place. Next is 
write any one of the story not as told by Gulliver but by some other person. Let us start. No sooner was Gulliver set free than he asked if he could see the city. After all, he wanted to explore this place, which was so different from the others, which he had been to. The king, who was convinced that Gulliver was harmless, was pleased to grant Gulliver the permission. Authorities immediately gave, or gave out orders instructing Lilliputians to stay inside lest they get trampled under the gigantic Gulliver's feet. Even as curious onlookers kept looking at him in wonder, Gulliver continued exploring the place. Eventually, he reached a place where the kings looking at him in wonder. Gulliver continued exploring the place. Eventually, he reached a place where the king's beautiful house was located. He was amazed by its beauty. The king's house was surrounded by a garden and had beautiful rooms. He also saw the queen and some of the youngest princes who were greatly pleased by the Gulliver's visit. Okay, next. If you were to grow very tiny like a Lilliputians, what are the things you would like to do? Write about any three of these things. I will run and climb the ant hills and enjoy the view from the top. On my smallest bike, I will ride to distant places. I will entertain people with my trick at the circus. Okay, next is find suitable adverb for each of the following verb. Verb is what? Action. So, according to action, we have to give the answer of it, how the verb was taken place. Okay, so here for work, it could be he was walking quickly, rapidly, slowly. Okay, speak could be fluently, beautifully, politely. Push could be carefully, correctly, quickly. Study well, hard, regularly. Sing sweetly, melodiously, cheerfully. Work fast, diligently, patiently. Okay, next is find the opposite of the following adverb. Hard, easy. Quickly, slowly. Fast, slow. Tidily, untidily. Unknowingly, knowingly. Shamefully, shamelessly. Early, late. Often, seldom. Never, always. Honestly, dishonestly. So, here we end with the topic. If you like the topic, please do like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you children for watching my videos. Thank you.